Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome to Blades in the Wind, a uh, Providence trial for Risk of Rain Returns. Defeat at least one Toxic Beast, utilizing your Laser Cyclone to deal consistent damage, avoiding the returning glaive results and extended uptime. There's all the other parameters. Basically, how this one works, we immediately throw out the Laser Glaive and then just cut down this Toxic Beast by hopping over the Laser Glaive and dealing consistent damage as the challenge said. Now, this is almost free to get the clear. It is incredibly difficult to get the uh, crown. So I will do my best at showing you how to do that. It is so freaking hard. It's not even funny uh, because of the third round. The, the first round is basically free. The second round is difficult but doable. And then the final round is like unreal levels of uh, difficult. So there's our first guy. Now, when you kill him, you can hop down to get some loot, uh, which is the ATG missile and also the Hoppo or Hopu or whatever it is, Feather. Uh, we're also going to grab these containers and try to hop to the right here. Yeah, you can see there's just so much going on. Uh, you can utilize the double jump if you wish. Uh, it's almost better to tank, honestly, the... Um, the little piglets that spawn uh, because you'll be able to deal consistent damage and clear this out faster. Now, when you get the second kill, make sure to run over here to the geyser and basically just keep jumping constantly. There is like way too much crap. So make sure you get the missile launcher. And then from there, you can basically just keep launching like this and clear out all the ads. Because, like, otherwise, this is going to be impossible. I don't even know what they expect you to do here. There's just so much going on. You can see there's two giants over there and then the dudes that uh, snipe you as well. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to sit here until the laser glaive kills these big dudes. And with the missile launcher, thankfully, we get some extra DPS. Now, if we ever catch the glaive, we want to immediately throw it out as soon as we get it back. But yeah, as you can tell, this is like just unbelievably difficult. Um, and I found this is the best way to deal with this because there's also like a million piglets. And if you even touch them, you are so freaking screwed. It's not even funny. So let's throw one more laser glaive out and that should get rid of the giant. Beautiful. Deal some missile damage as well. And now we have some uh, money to spend. So we're going to grab the uh, lens maker's glasses chance to deal double damage. We're going to try to avoid all this crap. Uh, let's go ahead and throw out our laser glaive again. See if we can get this like bug killed. Uh, and then basically we can just wait here for more items to spawn. Chance to deal double damage or increased maximum HP or a chance to bleed on hit. Uh, we've got 200 more gold, so we're just going to keep jumping over the laser glaive whilst we're restoring some uh, maximum HP also. So the item should come back soon here. Uh, I'm going to grab a rusty knife for a chance to bleed on hit. And then we can get two more items with the money that we have. Now I'm going to come over here and wait for this thing and try to get it killed. Oh, yeah, not good. Okay, so... You really, really, really do not want to touch the Piglet Swarm. If you touch the Piglet Swarm, you are basically just dead. Uh, there's not much you can do because the DPS of the Piglet Swarm will just eat you alive. So now we're at a bit in a rock and a hard place. You can throw the Laser Glaive to try and get the Piglet Swarm killed, but basically they'll just keep spawning more and more and more. So this is where things get quite difficult. Now, when you throw out the laser glaive, however, it will fire missiles, with which if the frenzied toxic beast is close, the missiles will deal damage, which is nice uh, to it. So you can whittle it down that way. So yeah, this is one strategy. Basically, just sit here for an eternity and throw out your laser glaive and try to get these uh, little piglets killed so that the missile launches over to the big mama. And also, you'll be restoring HP the entire time as well. So let's do that a little bit more here. But the Frenzy Toxic Beast is remaining at 1408 HP. So we're not really whittling it down. So something's got to give. Let's go ahead and throw one more Laser Glaive. Try to get some more missiles to launch. Uh, we did chip it down a little bit there. But we're going to grab another Lens uh, Maker's Glasses here. And then we can grab even more. 
So now this becomes the problem of how do we deal consistent damage to the um, to the frenzied toxic beast. So we're gonna grab another lens maker's glasses here, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the left and immediately try to stay on the ground here and try not to, yeah, as you can see, it's just incredibly tough because we want the frenzied toxic beast to basically be over here on the right, but sometimes it'll just keep bouncing over to the left, especially if it keeps trying to spawn uh, some of the piglets. So I have found the best way to deal with this is to basically just try to throw the laser glaive in a way that it hits the frenzied toxic beast and then just sit here for an eternity, pretty much. Uh, while you uh, whittle down the frenzy toxic bee slowly but surely. It's incredibly boring, but this is so unbelievably difficult that I don't really know of a better way, other than to just immediately go into this third phase and hope and pray, basically, that uh, that you can um, whittle him down before he summons like 5,000 piglets. So I will see you on the other end after we are done waiting for this thing to die. All right, so you can see here, it's down to 160 out of 1,680 health. So once again, I'm going to go over here just to be safe. Oh, God, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, this is exactly what you don't want. This is exactly what you don't want. And that is why you want to take the bitter root a lot of the time in case anything bad like that happens. Luckily, we did deal a little bit of damage. So we're going to try to hop over this damage here. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to throw the laser glaive, and hopefully one more round should do the trick. But thankfully, the geyser will keep you safe. Uh, we're going to be super safe here and grab the bitter root once again, and then wait for the opportunity to throw out our laser glaive. And down goes the third frenzy toxic beast. There is no way in heck I'm doing this again, so I'm going to intentionally die here. Oh, boy. And, yeah, that is the... Uh, that is the uh, Blades in the Wind uh, Golden. Uh, yeah, that, that, that one's super duper duper difficult. I really hope that this one helped. Thanks so much for watching. If it did, support the channel and the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.